So guys, today might be the most important survey video you ever watch on YouTube because this is a big problem that so many people have is they start out in the right grip, they start the right pathway to the ball, and then at the very end, they flub everything up, okay? So if this has happened to you, you're gonna wanna pay very, very close attention to today's video. So let's talk about what has to happen on the serve. On the serve, first of all, I'm talking to people who have a continental grip only. You gotta have the continental grip. How do you find that? If you're looking to change, you basically take the webbing in your hand, like, like think of this as webbing in the hand, you run it down, you grab, you shake hands with the racket. Very, very important. So, three checkpoints you have to have on the serve. Number one is you have to come to set checkpoint number one, which I like to call the selfie, to where the strings are facing down words and into you to where you can take a picture of yourself if you go under there. Checkpoint number two is when you come down here that you don't open up the string. So many people do this as they come and then checkpoint number three is as you come up to the ball that the racket is on edge, right? The racket is on edge and not facing forward to the ball. It's very very close to the very end. Look, I can't hit the ball We'll show you from the side. Let me show you from the side. Look guys, as I approach the ball, I can't hit the ball until right now. Basically until contact. That's how it works. You see that? This is what makes this serve so hard because most people when they start to serve, they serve like this in the wrong grip where you can only hit flat and you can make contact with the ball right away, okay? So you can come here this is why it's so much easier to play in the wrong grip. You can come here and you can make contact right away. Immediately, you're, you're always on a direct path to good contact. The problem is, why, why don't coaches recommend you do that and they put you through the torture of learning the continental grip is because you can't put a variety of spins on it. And ultimately, with a continental grip, you're gonna have a lot more control, a lot more power, and a lot more spin. But the problem is, is you can't hit the ball until the very end if you do it correctly but most people who play they don't like that feeling so even subconsciously as they're coming here and they're approaching the ball they start to do this and they start to approach approach the serve like this look at me they start to do this back here and they end up sliding up this way and hit that way right where a good player is going to come this way Right? So watch this from the side. You're going to see that, I will put this in slow motion, that I can't hit the ball until the very end. I'm not able to hit that ball until the very end of the serve. Okay, so I'm going to give you a little exercise, and again, we're going to move the camera to the back. I want to give you a little exercise that's really, really going to help you do this. It's been helping a, a student of mine I'm so proud of. She's finally getting her serve down, been working on this, and we had her do this exercise, and it's finally working for her. So here it is, guys. Rather than thinking of coming at the ball this way, which you probably do, coming directly at the ball, think of yourself coming at the ball this way, this way. You're like, you're coming here there. See that? Practice this. Instead of coming at you, at you, at you, I'm going this way, this way. And you can see that if this is the edge of my racket, right, if the heel of my hand is the edge of the racket, it's coming, it can't hit the ball until now. See? It can't hit the ball until right now. That's the first time it can hit the ball. So if you just come here and you do that first of all, and then you just do a couple of shadow strokes like this. One, two, look how I can't hit the ball until now. One, two, three, okay? We'll try that again. One, 
two, three. Okay, go practice that. It will change your tennis life. You wanna know what else will change your tennis life? Is if I decide to give you a free serve course right now. I'm not talking about the usual things you get, like a little ebook that's like two pages, or you know, uh, three videos. I'm talking about 40 videos, an actual real course, serving A to Z, absolutely free of charge. Just for watching this video and i'm also going to throw in an ebook seven steps to a powerful serve because everybody wants a powerful serve there's a limited number of copies that i'm giving away and so you want to take advantage before i stop giving them away because at some point i might just do that to you so on youtube you click up here there's a card right up here that you can click to get that also uh let's see i know at the end of the video you're allowed to put these end screens on there which will also have a link so you can go grab that 100 percent free of charge full of fun and success. This is Pete from Crunch Time Coaching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You don't want to miss any more of my future serve videos, forehand videos, backhand videos, volley videos, videos on opinions on the tour. Anything tennis, we're talking about right here. So you don't want to miss out. Take care, guys. This is Pete signing off.